Jesus gives us joy. The third Advent candle is the shepherd candle. It's a different color than the other. It's pink to symbolize joy. I like to think about what brings me so much joy that I'm bursting to tell others. Can you think about things that have happened to you and you were compelled to immediately share with someone? Maybe it was getting that good grade on a hard test. You got into your first choice of a college, that first date with someone special. Engagement, weddings, babies, grandbabies, that doctor's appointment where you find out it's not cancer. We've all had those times when we were so excited about something that happened to us that we had to share it by shouting the good news from the mountaintops. Well, that's what it was like for the shepherds. They experienced good news and couldn't wait to share it. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, so let's start at the beginning. You know, in Luke 2, being a shepherd was not a very glamorous job. In fact, people actually look down on the shepherds. But that's the exciting part of the Christmas story. God chooses the unexpected characters to be instrumental in spreading the good news. God used some very ordinary men one night in Bethlehem, sending angels not to priests or palaces, but to the pasture. When the shepherds come onto the scene, they're doing their job of watching over the sheep during the graveyard shift. Can you imagine how dark the nighttime sky must have been with the only lights possibly being just the campfire to give them some warmth? The shepherds were simply doing their job of watching over the sheep when the unexpected happened. Let's listen to Luke 2. Now there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Not gonna lie, I'd be terrified if an angel appeared to me in the dark nighttime sky. But I love the angel's response. Do not be afraid. Right away, the angel senses their fear and tells them not to be afraid. He goes on to say, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He's the Messiah, the Lord. This is your sign. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared, saying, Glory to God, the highest in heaven, and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. Wow! The angel anticipated the shepherd's reaction, tells them not to fear, tells them the good news and how to find the baby. And then many angels fill the sky, sharing the joy of Jesus' birth. It goes on to say that when the angels left them and went to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. I love this part. There was no hesitation. They were curious, but immediate in their response. They didn't wait till morning. They went right away. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. The shepherds couldn't wait to share the good news with everyone. If they had Facebook or Instagram, it would have been front and center in the feed. Jesus has been born. The King is here. The shepherds did return and glorified and praised God for all the things that they had seen and heard just as it had been told. Those lowly shepherds became a major participant in the Christmas story. Look at their reaction. They didn't doubt or question. They went promptly to see what the angelic announcement was all about. And after they went, they spread the good news. They were so thrilled, they couldn't wait to tell everyone what they had seen. Just like when wonderful things happen to you and you can't wait to share it, as it was with the shepherds. What a Christmas challenge. Does Jesus make us so thrilled that we're bursting to share his love? 
Not only can we share the good news of his birth by telling others, but we can also share him through our actions, caring, or simply living lives of joy. Joy is not quite the same as happiness. Happiness is generally a result of life circumstances and it can change like the wind. But joy comes from Christ and it resides deep in the soul. Joy cannot be snatched or destroyed by events. 2020 could have been a joy stealer. The circumstances around us possibly could give us a complaining and unthankful spirit. But use this Christmas season to be reminded of the good news that God sent us Jesus. Let's be like the shepherds and be immediate in our response to obey and then share the joy of Jesus to everyone.